Thorny, is it true? Are you pregnant? My mom just told me. Are you really pregnant? For sure? I thought you were too old to have a baby. Isn't that what the doctor said? Aren't you like 40? How did you get pregnant? Was it in vitro? Surrogacy? No way you have the actual baby in your own belly. Maybe it was a false positive. I mean, congratulations and all, but I mean like, I'd been trying to have a baby for two years in my 20s, you know that, and even I couldn't get it to happen. How did you, a woman well in her late 30s, have a baby so soon after getting married? Did you even consider my feelings? You never once mentioned wanting kids and suddenly you're pregnant? How could you do this to me? Whoa, whoa, Sally, what are you talking about? I've always wanted a baby. Just because you didn't bother getting to know me the first five years doesn't mean I never talked about planning a family with your brother. It wasn't easy for us either. We've been trying for a lot longer than you. Not that this is a competition. Weren't you like barren? Didn't you have something wrong with your womb or something that prevented you from getting pregnant? So I always thought it was your fault I never got pregnant. You came into this family with your barren bacteria spreading it all over the place. Sally, please calm down. You're not making any sense. There is nothing wrong with my uterus. I think that's what you meant to say, not womb. Yes, it's true that as a woman gets older, especially past her 30s, it becomes more and more difficult and unlikely for her to get pregnant. But through some miracle, it did happen to me. You know what it's like to wish for a baby with all your heart. Why can't you be happy for me, woman to woman? You're being very rude and spiteful. This is the happiest I've ever been. There is no need to take your pent-up anger out on me, especially now that I'm carrying your brother's child. Oh, please. It's all your fault I got divorced for not being able to produce a son. Who cares if I was having an innocent affair a few times? If only I'd had a baby, I would never have lost my place in my marriage. My ex-husband would never have discarded me like trash. He would have had to stay with me for the sake of his baby. Wait, you what? You had an affair. In the two years you were married, you had an affair. It was an innocent friendship with some man that I thought was friendly. We went out to eat and stuff a few times, that's all. My ex-husband is a total drama queen for blowing it up to something that he thought was enough cause for a clean divorce. But deep down, I know he exaggerated it so he could get rid of me and find a new wife who could start pumping out lots of babies right away. Who knew I wasn't allowed to have a single opposite sex friend just because I was a married woman? Nobody told me. I thought I was married, not in prison. Anyway, I'm moving back in with you and my parents next week, so please have a room ready for me. You're moving back here. When did you decide this? You can't just drop this notice on us last minute. Do your parents know about this? Does your brother know? It would be great to have an extra income. It would surely be nice. But we're already using the third bedroom for storage. We will need more time to get it ready for you to move in. Wait a minute, an extra income? Are you talking about my income? What income? Do you expect me to pay rent to live with my parents or something? I am a newly divorced housewife, Marnie. How can you expect me to pay rent? I'm swimming in debt from having to pay alimony to that stupid, sterile ex of mine. How greedy are you? That's so inappropriate. Also, it's my parents' house. I don't know what weird, dysfunctional family you come from, but there's no way my parents will force me to pay rent to live in their house. Who are you to tell me what to do, first of all? You're nothing but a latest addition to this family. You rank the lowest of the low. Do I now? Duh! If you got that, make sure you act your place once I get back. I don't want to see no lazy ass sitting around doing nothing just because she's pregnant. You're basically a maid that doesn't get paid. Was this girl for real? I had barely seen her during the five years I was married to her brother, let alone gotten to know her since she never showed up to any Klein family gatherings. And now she expects to waltz back into her parents' house where her brother Harry and I are living for the time being as well. Her obvious taunts aside, I had a very bad feeling about this. But since she's part of the family I married into, and to finally get a chance to get to know her, I made a vow to try my part and not cause a stir. After all, 
Harry and I are only in this house due to his mother's insistence that we live with them for the first five years. Before Sally was married, she did live with us in her parents' house for a short while. It was right after she came back from three-year exchange student program in Asia. And it was not fun living with her. She was so jealous of me for stealing her brother's attention. She tried to manipulate Harry into thinking I did something bad to her on purpose. The usual childish teenager stuff. But I chalked it all up to as her being young and being new to having a stranger living with her. She would expect me to clean her room when I volunteered to vacuum. She ordered me to make snacks for her like I was a waitress. I even turned many a blind eye when she stole $20 bills from my wallet. I kept telling myself that she didn't mean any harm by her actions, but rather she doesn't know any better because she's been spoiled. I guess what I thought was my peacekeeping was in fact me enabling her. And now after two short years of being married and gone, she announces she's coming back, and so soon. Marnie, bring a two liter bottle of Sprite and a big watermelon on your way back, will ya? This heat is making me crave them. I want to make watermelon Sprite. I walked here today to get some exercise. I don't think I can carry anything that heavy. Sorry. I'm due next month, so my doctor told me not to strain myself, especially in this heat. Oh, you're not dying or anything. You're just pregnant. Women have done worse while being pregnant for hundreds of thousands of years, like tending to their cattle and stuff. Don't be a first world wuss and bring me back a Sprite and watermelon. It's not like I'm asking you to carry a car, jeez. Don't you know you're supposed to move around and get more exercise if you want an easier delivery? Didn't you read up on any of this stuff? How are you going to be a mom if you're so uneducated and so unprepared? Don't you know a whole lot about childbirth and motherhood? Aren't you an expert? I'm being sarcastic. And no, I will not bring you a Sprite and watermelon. You can go get them yourself. You're much more fit than I am as you so often like to remind me. Why don't you use your big body to some good use? What? Big body? Are you calling me fat? How dare you call me fat? You are calling me fat? You with your giant veiny tadpole belly are calling me fat? What the actual hell? That's it. Why are you still even here? I thought you wanted to go have your baby near your parents' place. Why don't you just go there already? if you don't want to be helpful to this family. What? You don't even come out of your room because you have morning sickness, leaving the rest of us to make breakfast. Then during the day, you claim you have to take things easy and sit around doing nothing. And when my brother comes home from a long day of work, you have the gall to ask him to massage your elephant legs? Who do you think you are, a princess? Do you know how disgusted we are to have to see your big presence dragging around the house, eating everything in sight? So why don't you just pack up and leave? Stay with your appearance until your precious baby comes. That's rich. Like you've done a single thing to help out around the house, Sally. You don't work. You don't pay rent. You don't do anything. I will not have you criticize me for how I handle my pregnancy. Yeah, right. My mom agrees with me, you know. She said the same thing about how all you do is eat. At least you used to clean the house and help make dinner and stuff before. Now you literally do nothing. If it's not the miscarriage scare you had towards the beginning of the pregnancy, it's the premature birth scare you claim to have now. Are those even a real thing? They sound like excuses to me, for you to be as lazy as you want. And what morning sickness lasts the entire pregnancy night and day? That can't be right. I have literally never seen someone fuss so damn much about having a baby. Oh yeah, maybe you're on to something. Maybe I will pack up and leave. are you enjoying being at your parents' house? Hi, Sally. It's been great. I get to eat my mom's homemade food every day, and my parents let me rest as much as I need. This is really paradise. I bet. There sure is nothing like being at home, is there? But you must be bored because you don't have a brother who's married. Huh? How do you mean? I mean, don't you wish you had a brother who has a wife living with you to do all your chores and stuff? One of the best things about living at home with my brother's wife was having her be my personal butler. But since you only have a sister, you can't do that. And I'm saying that must be boring for you. Wow. 
I don't know about being bored, but I can definitely tell you that I'm really, really loving it here without you. To be at home where the others don't expect me to do anything and let me be comfortable because they love me, it's really refreshing. Ah, uh, yeah, you should just stay there. I can have the rest of your stuff packed up and sent over if you'd like. Maybe you can stay there for good and never come back. What? Harry agrees with me. He says we should start packing. Just stay with your loving parents. Have them pay for you and your child. But how sad, huh? You did your best to act like a precious, fragile little pregnant lady so you could get my brother's full attention. And then even before the baby comes, you're kicked out and discarded by my brother. You just had to get pregnant, didn't you? What are you talking about? What do you think is happening here? You need to grow up, Sally. You're not a young, rebellious teenager anymore. You're a grown woman, a divorced woman, who should definitely know better now. I get that you're sore I took your brother away from you. I can understand that. But enough is enough. Your juvenile attempts to bully me and make me feel useless is not going to do you any good. Why are you so determined to hate me? Because, because see, Harry's been different ever since he met you. Before you, he was such a good brother. He'd buy me things, take me shopping, take me to concerts, to the movies. But ever since he met you, he barely gives me a second glance. And I hear you take all his paychecks, you handle his finances, why? You think it's fair that my brother has to get an allowance from you after working himself to the bone each month? My poor brother lives off $300 a month. Who are you to say how much he gets to have in the first place? It's his hard-earned money. It's not like you bring in as much into this family. You sit around and do nothing. Yet you claim his money like it's rightfully all yours. No wonder you were thrown out like trash. Thrown out? Me? By whom? My brother, you stupid idiot. Like I said, he's packing up your cheap belongings as we speak. We're going to send every last little thing in this house that was yours and send them over via cash on delivery. Take your shit and don't ever set foot in this house or anywhere near this family. You got that? Did you get the packages? How much was it? Must have been quite a lot, huh? Sally, I thought you never wanted anything to do with me. Well, until your divorce papers are finalized, we're technically still family. I figured I could spare a text or two to make sure you got what we sent you. I wanted to see how you're doing, because I'm not a heartless monster. Are you terrified yet? You'll soon be a divorced single mom with a newborn. Having to take care of a shrieking baby all on your own? I'd just kill myself if I were you. Yikes! Poor you, and even poorer baby. How's it gonna survive? You should have been nicer to me when you had the chance. Are you regretting your bad life choices yet? Maybe it hasn't hit your thick skull. Good riddance for my brother. Amen. Your brother? Do you need to talk to him? He's right here burping the baby right now. What? What the heck are you talking about? Why would Harry be over there? He left a week ago on an extended business trip. I saw him get in a cab with his giant suitcase. He's probably in Spain or somewhere by now. You are mistaken, Sally. He didn't go on a business trip. He packed up his stuff and came to be with me. See, the entirety of his belongings could fit in a single suitcase because he'd spent so much money covering for your expenses that he had none for himself. That's a lie. And why would my brother ever go see you? He kicked you out. <laughs> That's almost funny. Why on earth would Harry kick me out? I just had his baby. It's a girl, by the way. Harry has not left her side or mine. He's even taken a whole month off from work to be with us. You think Harry and I ever let your rants affect us? Did you really think your awful, hurtful words toward me went unnoticed by your brother this whole time? Honey, he knew. And his love for me and his baby never once faltered. Would you like me to tell you the name, by the way? That's a lie! Why would Harry pack your things and send them to you if he wasn't planning on leaving you? It makes no sense. You can't even spin a good story. It was his idea. He packed up my things and his things and moved out of your suffocating house so that he and I could finally start our own life with our beautiful baby, just the three of us. Get that through your thick skull. 
Do you know how hard and stressful it was to live with your mom while trying to have a baby? Not just for me, but for Harry too. He couldn't handle it anymore. He had had enough, so he came up with a plan. He chose me. He chose a life with me, not you. It's really kind of gross that I even have to spell this out for you. You're his sister. Your weird obsession towards your biological brother is unhinged, to say the least. You do not get to talk to me like that. You're a Klein now. You can't just up and leave the family. We basically own you. Even if that were true, which in no universe it is, you told me to leave. I, a respectful woman, did what my husband's dear sister told me to do, and I promptly took the matter to your brother to discuss with him. You should have seen Harry's face when he heard what you said to me. Well, I didn't mean for Harry to go with you. In any case, I'll leave you to it. You can go on and live a happy little life with your family. You might need to start looking for a job now, though, if you want to make rent every month. What rent? What rent? It's what you pay the landlord whose house you live in. Grown-ups pay it. Harry and I have been covering the whole thing until last month. Did your mom not tell you? Of all the things she seems to share with you, it's strange she never mentioned anything about money. She must have been too proud to burden her precious daughter with such foolish things. What are you getting at? All I know is your mom invested your father's savings and retirement funds in some new startup. And let me just say, it didn't quite have the outcome she was hoping for. We took pity on your dad for losing his life savings in one go, but there was only so much we could do to help if he himself had no motivation left to get back out there. We never complained about paying for them because Harry's a good son. But for me, what did I get? Did I ever get as much as a half-hearted thank you? No. I was bullied and tormented, treated like a servant, and hurled insults at. Even if in some universe it was justified, I wasn't going to talk to you out of suggesting I move away. Maybe I should be thanking you. Who would want to live like that? Shut your trap, you slut! You don't talk to a Klein like that! Bring your baby and my brother back to this house right now and apologize. The baby belongs with his family. It has our blood. What are you going to do? Not let the baby get to know its living grandparents and aunt? She's a girl, Sally, and she has a name. I already asked you if you wanted to know what it is, but you moved right past it, didn't you? You made it clear yourself that you're not interested in this baby. But suddenly, now that she could be useful to you, you're all about her? Could it be the fact that Harry and I are no longer financially supporting you, I wonder? You need to come back right now! Stop this nonsense! Do you want to see me and my parents starve to death? Because if we do, it'll be all your fault! Three able-bodied grown adults will not starve to death. Unless, of course, they're too lazy to do anything and prefer to die of hunger rather than work. Honestly, are you for real? Welp, my daughter is crying. I should go tend to her now. Harry said it would be better for my mental health if I blocked all of you once and for all. If you ever need to talk to me for whatever reason, you'll have to go through Harry now. Good luck with that. I still received hundreds of calls from unknown numbers since I blocked the clients. Fortunately, my husband kept a close watch on the caller IDs and screened unwanted calls for me. For the first few weeks, Harry hadn't completely cut them off because they are still his family. But once his mom threatened to barge into his work and make a scene, he finally snapped. He blocked his mom and sister and changed his number just to be safe. I had never seen him so angry before. We heard from his dad a while later that he'd filed for divorce and that he's now working part-time as a night security guard at a parking garage to pay for his small studio apartment. He has a bad knee, but he says the job's perfect because he mostly stays seated. He seems happier and less stressed than ever. As for Harry's mom and sister, they had a huge falling out over placing blame, and now they've also gone their separate ways. I hear they're working a minimum of three jobs at a time just to make ends meet. I honestly couldn't care less. All I care and appreciate is my mom taking great care of my baby daughter so I can go back to work. I'm the new regional manager. I am loving my job, my husband, my daughter, and this peaceful life. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.